the mouse. Take out the corresponding yarn. Working into a magic ring. Wrap the yarn around your fingers like this. Make a loop around your middle finger and pinch the crossover of the yarn. Insert a hook into a loop on middle finger. Yarn under a hook and pull up a loop. A magic ring is formed on middle finger. In round one, start with a chain stitch and then work four single crochets. Finally, end with a slip stitch. Work a chain stitch first. Then work four single crochets. Mark the first stitch. Continue to work three more single crochets in the same way. Four single crochets are done. Pull the yarn tail tight to close the ring. Remove the marker and work a slip stitch in the first stitch to join this round. Tighten up. Round 1 is done. In round 2, start with a chain stitch and then work a set of a single crochet, an increase twice. Finally, end with a slip stitch. Work a chain stitch first. The first set, work a single crochet. Next, work an increase, which means working two single crochets in the same stitch. The second set, work a single crochet. Next, Work an increase, which means working two single crochets in the same stitch. Remove the marker and work a slip stitch in the first stitch to join this round. Up. Round 2 is done. In round 3, start with a chain stitch, then work a single crochet, 3 increases, and 2 single crochets. Finally, end with a slip stitch. Work a chain stitch first. Work a single crochet. Then work three increases. We need to work two single crochets in each of the following three stitches.
Then work two single crochets. Finally, work a slip stitch in the first stitch to join this round. Tighten up. Round 3 is done. In round 4, start with a chain stitch and then work 9 single crochets. Finally, end with a slip stitch. Work a chain stitch first. Cut off this short yarn tail. Then work a single crochet in each stitch. Finish a total of 9 single crochets in this round. Finally, work a slip stitch in the first stitch to join this round. Round 4 is done. In round 5, start with a chain stitch. Work a decrease. Mark the first stitch. Next, work a single crochet. Then, work three half double crochet increases. We need to work two half double crochets in each of the following stitches. Yarn over the hook. Insert the hook into the next stitch. Yarn over the hook and pull up a loop. There are three loops on the hook. Yarn over the hook and pull through all three loops on the hook. That's a half double crochet. Work one more half double crochet in the same stitch. Continue to work two more half double crochet increases. We need to work two half double crochets in each of the following stitches. Next, work a single crochet.
then work a decrease. Finally, work a slip stitch in the first stitch to join this round. Round five is done. In round six, start with a chain stitch and then work 10 single crochets. Finally, end with a slip stitch. Work a chain stitch first. Then work a single crochet in each stitch. Finish a total of 10 single crochets in this round. Finally, work a slip stitch in the first stitch to join this round. Round 6 is done. Stretch the loop and remove the hook. Break yarn, leaving a long yarn tail for sewing. The mouse is completed. 